I have a new backpack and I'm really excited to share it with you today. Okay, so I think I've found my dream bag and that is an exciting thing. Uh, it sort of happened unexpectedly. I have been admittedly looking for the perfect backpack for a very long time uh, and have been enjoying well enough the backpack that I do use for hiking, but it doesn't have all the things that I want it to. And so I've been keeping my eye out and so, oh, this video has been so hard to make. I've really tried to make this video a couple times already and I just keep forgetting what I've said already at this point. <laughs> but basically, this backpack will function as a purse, a travel bag, a hiking backpack, all of these things put into one, which makes me really happy because I don't like having a lot of extra little things that have individual purposes. I like them all to have one big purpose. My brain just isn't functioning. I can't keep, <laughs> I can't, I can't focus for some reason. All right. So anyways, let's just tour the bag. I found it at a vintage shop in Bisbee, Arizona. It was actually closed. We were walking past and I saw it through the window hanging on a wall and I was like looking through the window and suddenly this person appears and she's like, we're closed, but I would be happy to let you in if you see something you'd like to buy. And I was like, thank you, thank you. And I went right for the bag, 35 bucks sold. So yeah, really, really lucky find. My favorite part of it is that it has these little uh, stretchy pockets. This is great because I can carry a water bottle. I can carry a bigger water bottle than this even, which is fantastic. I can also have my like purse items really easy to access on the outside here. Since this is a real buckle system, it's not as convenient getting in the main pouch. The straps are really comfortable. I like that part of it too. <laughs> I just am really quite smitten with this backpack. Uh, so in the, the other side pocket, I've been carrying my my planner. This is just the Hobonichi Weeks. I don't use this creatively. It's like really boring. It's basically just to keep myself organized and to make sure that I don't forget all the things that I have to do. I also have my daily journal, which is a pocket size. This is a cover by Chic Sparrow in the Outlander Claire. And I have a little Caveco brass pen and a Leuchtturm notebook on the inside with one of my more recent collage stickers. And I've been having kind of a continuing journal conundrum for the past couple of months, so I'm not like super, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> like we could save that for another video. But that's what's in this side pocket here. And if I am hiking, of course, I'd put those things on the inside of the bag and just put a water bottle, another water bottle on the outside because that becomes the priority. Just a quick little update to reflect where we're at now. Instead, I have this A5, or excuse me, wow, A6 Julio with the Hobonichi Techo as my daily journal in the side pocket. In this pouch, I have my wallet, which we'll look in at just in just a moment, uh, a mask, and my handkerchief. Now, the wallet is kind of like a little everything kit that hasn't changed much. I did a what's in my bag video a couple years ago, and basically it's this is the same. <laughs> so. In here, I have my cards, my driver's license, and my credit cards. And then in here, I have a lotion tin and chapstick and a pair of nail clippers, the key to my mom's house, and a uh, Swiss Army knife. So this is probably the biggest update. I used to carry an Openel pocket knife. It was just like a little folding knife. And that was really handy, but it has since been retired 
to my backpacking kitchen kit. And now I carry a multi-tool and let me tell you, I love this thing so much. I have used most of the tools now on a fairly regular basis. It's really come in handy. So that's kind of exciting. So that's in the, the front pouch. Now moving on, we have what is on the inside, which is really not a whole lot. But again, if I'm backpacking, or not backpacking, if I'm hiking, uh, I can add like a little bag of snacks, maybe a sweater in case it gets cold. I don't know. There is this little zipper pouch in the flap too that's currently empty. And you can see here, the brand of the bag is Hobo International. This is not a company that I had been familiar with, although I did look them up after buying this bag. And their backpacks go for like two to 350. So I think it got a good deal at $35. Um, there's pen loops and there's a little pouch here. And the only thing I did do is add this little felt loop because before to cinch it closed I had to tie it which was just really inconvenient so this is so much easier <laughs> I really that was a very important thing I think uh, I have inside the current read my current read which is The Wicked Boy by Kate Summerscale it's a nonfiction about a child murderer in the Victorian period and it has been such a fascinating read I really like her style of, of writing. She's just very straightforward. Actually, if you don't mind, a, uh, this is just something about another book she said, but um, a beautiful piece written with great lucidity and respect for the reader and with immaculate restraint. I think that's just such a great summary of her writing. So anyways, and then I have this and that's it. That's all that's in here right now. Like I said, if this I was traveling, I'd put in my little toiletries bag, or if I was hiking, I would have maybe snacks or something else. But this is the, the bag that I always have when I'm hiking. And the inside is a little travel towel. This is a microfiber, micro, yeah, microfiber towel, super absorbent, quick drying, a first aid kit, ah, a little, pocket guide for first aid, an extension of my first aid kit, different ways to start fire and sewing implements and extra batteries and soap and duct tape, lots of random things that you might need in an emergency situation. Uh, headlamps, earbuds, this little case that is um, a zip up and it's kind of rigid and my partner and I use this for collecting treasures. <laughs> so we have often found like dead insects and we put them in here and we take them home and we put them on display or rocks or feathers or flowers, just random things that we like to collect sometimes on our hike. And then a little ruler for taking pictures of animal tracks. <laughs> So that's in my little like hiking backpack. And that's it. That is a full tour of my backpack. Again, I've already said this many times. I'm really excited to have it. I can't wait to use it more, <laughs> travel with it, hike with it. Um, yeah, I'm, it's going to be great. We're gonna be best friends. So thank you all for watching. I hope this was interesting. I feel like this video is so boring and that's part of why I've really struggled to make it. I'm trying, I want it to be entertaining, but it is just what it is. And I personally find what's in my bag videos quite entertaining. So hopefully some of you will enjoy this video too. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.